Hi, my name is Bernd Hert and I'm working as Technical Marketing Engineer at NetApp's SAP Competence Center in Waldorf. Together with my colleague Niels Bauer, we have held a webinar at brighttalk.com to show why SAP HANA runs better on NetApp. In this video, we want to focus on the first topic of this webinar, backup and recovery. You can watch the full video at brighttalk.com. The full webinar has three major topics, backup and recovery, disaster recovery, and SAP system refresh. Now, let's follow my colleague Niels Bauer explaining why NetApp can improve backup and recovery for SAP HANA. Yeah, thanks, Bernd. So um, let's have a more detailed look on the backup recovery requirements and, and the benefits of using storage-based snapshot backups. So um, HANA actually supports two different backup options. So the, the first one is a streamed backup, uh, which could be just a backup to a file system or a backup using SAP HANA's backend API. So with those file-based backups or backups using the backend API, the HANA database server reads the data from the primary storage and writes the data either to that file system or streams the data to a backup server using the third-party backup tool. And both approaches have a significant impact on the performance of the SAP HANA database. Since the database is responsible to read and write the data, there is, of course, a additional high CPU load to do these operations. There's a high I.O. load on the primary storage. And, of course, you need a backup network that transports the data. And in addition, the, the backup runtime itself, specifically uh, for larger databases, can be quite significant, which results in, in lower operation speeds when you run these backups. As a result, these backup operations are typically scheduled only once per day. And in case of a required restore and recovery operation, the forward recovery can take a significant amount of time since you have to apply many logs during the forward recovery with just a single backup once per day. So the RTO is therefore typically in a range of multiple hours. Last line here in the table, the block integrity check, which is an operation that checks the um, checks for block corruptions in the database, is executed during the backup run with each uh, file-based backup or backend backup. So the second method to do backups of the HANA database is the usage of storage-based snapshot backups. And with NetApp storage-based snapshot backup, a backup is executed with, within seconds in, instead of hours. And the backup runtime is independent from the size of the database. So even for a multi-terabyte database, the backup execution is super fast. And the backup is executed at the storage layer, and therefore there is no impact on the performance of the HANA database itself. And since there is no performance impact during the backup operations, our customers typically schedule multiple backups per day. Um, a quite common frequency is every four to six hours. And therefore, they can reduce the runtime of the forward recovery operation if required, since they need to apply less logs compared to a daily backup. So the restore and recovery operation is done in a matter of minutes instead of hours compared to the file-based backup. And the block integrity check is currently only um, supported using a file-based backup. So SAP HANA doesn't, they, they don't offer a, a method to do a block integrity check against the snapshot backup. So if you, if you use storage snapshot backups for, uh, for protecting the HANA database, it is recommended to execute an additional weekly file-based backup with the purpose of executing this block integrity check. So we, we recently did a proof of concept with a customer's SAP ISU system running on S4HANA. 
And this system was based on a HANA multiple host set up with eight database hosts and a database size of 20 terabyte. And one, one part of the test plan has been a comparison of backup and restore recovery operations using storage, spec, storage snapshot or a file-based backup. So the screenshot here on the slide shows the HANA backup catalog of this system and highlights two backup operations. The first one is the snapshot backup and the second one is a file-based backup uh, with a backend in that case. And so you can see that the snapshot backup took around four minutes and actually the backup Within that proof of concept, we, we executed the backup manually. So we, we typed in the required um, SQL statements um, for crising and uncrising the HANA database, and we also typed in the uh, required snapshot create commands on the storage layer. So what I'm trying to say is those, these four minutes will be actually even lower uh, if, you, if you would use SnapCenter, uh, which we'll discuss later, uh, to automate those SQL and storage operations. So, uh, but still, we, we have been very much more efficient than the, the backend uh, backup execution, which actually took two hours and, and 30 minutes. And this runtime, two hours and 30 minutes, requires really a throughput, a write throughput of 2,000 megabytes per second at the backup target, which is, which is quite significant. So overall, the time savings of snapshot backups compared to the file-based backup was more than 97%. And we, we also tested the restore and recovery operation within that proof of concept of this 20 terabyte HANA database. And it, it took around 30 minutes to do a restore and recovery operation using um, storage snapshots compared to around six hours um, when restoring the 20 terabyte database using the backend. So also for the restore recovery operation, uh, you get around 90% time savings for snapshot backups compared to file-based backups. Okay, so let's now discuss the typical backup operations and schedules when you're using storage-based snapshot backups. So the first Backup operation is the log backup, which is executed by the SAP HANA database automatically. And the default schedule for this backup operation is every 15 minutes. The second one is the data backup, which is done uh, using storage snapshots and where typically multiple backups per day are executed. So in this example, as discussed before, a typical schedule would be every four hours. And the third one is the replication of the data backup to an offsite backup location, uh, which is typically done once per day. And the number four is the block integrity check, as I discussed before, um, which is based on the file-based backup and that's executed uh, once per week. And all those backups have entries or are registered in the SAP HANA backup catalog. So another important operation of the, of the backup management is retention management and housekeeping. So all the four backup types which, or, and schedules, which we have discussed on the slide before, require different retentions and need to be defined individually. And in addition, when any backups are deleted at the storage or within the file system, housekeeping within the HANA backup catalog also needs to be done to ensure that backups and the backup catalog are in sync. So I guess it's safe to say that executing these housekeeping operations manually will most probably result in inconsistency between the backups and the backup catalog and will introduce risk to the, to the ability to perform a restore and recovery operation. So with SnapCenter and our SAP HANA plugin, the backup workflow is fully automated and integrated into the SAP HANA database. So SnapCenter is executing the required SQL commands against the SAP HANA database to trigger the required operations. 
And SnapSender supports the creation of storage-based snapshots at the local storage, the primary storage, and these backups can be replicated to an off-site backup storage. And within SnapSender, you can also schedule a file-based backup, a file-based backup which is actually used to execute the block integrity check of the HANA database. And in addition, in addition to the automated backup workflow, the required housekeeping at the storage layer and within the HANA backup catalog is also managed by SnapCenter. So with each backup run, the backups are deleted based on defined retention policies for this backup type. And backups which got deleted on the storage layer are also deleted in the HANA catalog. And in the last step, SnapCenter does the housekeeping for the log backups by deleting all the log backups which are older than the oldest data backup at the file system and the SAP HANA backup catalog. So this screenshot shows the topology view of a HANA database within SnapCenter. You can see that for this HANA database, SnapCenter is used to manage local backups at the primary storage as well as backups that are replicated to the offset backup storage. And when clicking either on the local storage or the offsite backup storage, SnapCenter lists all the backups which are available on the storage system. And all the backups that have been created by SnapCenter are also visible within HANA Studio, so the backups are registered within the SAP HANA backup catalog. And the name of the backup within SnapCenter, which we have seen on the previous slide, is also used as an identifier in the comment field and in the external backup ID field within the HANA backup catalog. <clears throat> okay, so far we, we talked about SnapCenter in the context of the SAP HANA database, but SnapCenter also provides data protection <clears throat> for other applications and databases. So there are application integrations available for SQL Server, Oracle, SAP, ASE, MaxDB, and DB2. So SnapCenter actually supports all the databases that can be used to run SAP Business Suite applications. SnapCenter also supports other applications like Exchange, VMware, MySQL, and MongoDB. Okay, let me summarize the backup recovery topic. So we have seen that the usage of storage snapshot provides a huge benefit in regards to the runtime of the backup operation itself and the runtime for restore and recovery operations if required. So this helps you really to simplify the scheduling of the backups to accelerate um, preparation as Burn said at the beginning um, specific tasks that are part of an upgrade plan. Um, and we have also seen that SnapCenter as an application integrated data protection framework fully automates these operations. And not only the backup itself, but also all the housekeeping and retention management that is a re required uh, for a backup solution. Okay, now. Thanks for watching part one of the series SAP HANA runs better on NetApp. You may watch the full webinar at brighttalk.com. And for those of you visiting Sapphire in Orlando, you can meet all the NetApp experts at booth number 108. Stay tuned for part two, disaster recovery.